We are here to celebrate the completion of Boston's first energy positive homes, which is just incredibly exciting. As many of you recall, in 2011, the mayor launched the E Plus Green Building Demonstration Program, and this was to promote the next generation of housing construction. Energy positive in this context refers to the fact that the four homes uh, behind me will produce more energy than they consume each year and will actually be feeding power back into the grid. The theory is that this dwelling, 2,000 square foot home, can be heated with uh, basically the same uh, BTUs as a hairdryer. This technology is leading the way. And I can say that this is the best built house that we ever you know, built and I'm very proud of it. All of the homes have compact fluorescent lights, super insulated and airtight walls, solar panels, energy efficient windows, and water efficient plumbing. Instead of having to have the heat run in New England, you know, four to five months a year, we try to design around two to three weeks a year that your heat will actually have to be turned on. Same thing on the cooling side. Instead of having to air condition for two to three months a year, trying to get it down to two or three weeks. The less we can actually have wood connected from the inside to the outside, the less heat ends up going through the actual structure itself. I always thought the thicker the walls, the better. It's not that, it's the air infiltration. If you cut the air infiltration down to zero and you test that with a blow and door test, it had 0.4 air exchanges per hour, which the standard in this area is, is 7.0. So it's extremely efficient. And what that enables the building to do is maintain an ambient temperature constant. It doesn't have any leaks. It's like keeping your refrigerator closed. It's much more efficient than when you open the door. So that is uh, one of the technologies that we try to instill with the apprentices. Today I'm here with the union. We're helping, uh, helping out the community building a home using uh, green innovation, green building. Basically, I'm learning hands-on training that'll translate into the field. What we're trying to do is stay on top of it. Our apprentices are trying to gain that extra edge, that knowledge of how to do the work. See if it works, see what doesn't work, see how it, one interacts with the other, and that's what uh, this job has enabled our apprentices to do. I'm doing hardwood flooring. This is my second time actually on a hands-on project with hardwood flooring. I'm actually laying it in, nailing it, uh, corner cutting, sanding, you know, the good stuff. I'm the corner cut man. I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. The apprentices have been working out quite well. Ultimately, what's uh, been good to see is that people are coming in with the right attitude. They want to work hard. Once it's been explained, they support building this way. This is a technology that's not going away. The uh, ability to sustain a house for less energy is definitely positive but the sustainability and doing the right thing for the community is something the captains have been involved in and, and I think that's what's good for the whole community. What makes me so excited about this project is that it shows that you can do energy positive in the urban context. So upwards five, ten years ago, when people were referring to energy positive, you needed a whole lot of land uh, to put solar panels, to do geothermal. We've now showed in the city of Boston, one of the densest neighborhoods in Roxbury, uh, that we can build energy positive homes in Boston near mass transit. So when you think about the environmental impact of these residents, uh, it is tremendously reduced. They can take mass transit, their houses produce more power than they need, they're extremely water efficient. Uh, this is the new way of sustainable living in a city. The carpenters are, are just a joy to work with and no matter what the issue is or the project, you're always there to help and we so appreciate the relationship that you have with the City of Boston. This is one union who very much gets it. <laughs>